My name is Lori Young, uh -huh. and I teach fourth grade here at Snow Creek Elementary. Um, I have 16 students in my class. Um, it is an inclusion class. I do have some students with learning disabilities. Um, we work very hard on making sure that they have a conceptual understanding of the math lessons that we're learning. We try to start with concrete objects and then move on to pictures and then move on to actual numbers. So we really try to start with manipulatives and work with those first and to build their understanding of the concepts and then to move on to using what they've already learned and the concepts they've already learned to draw pictures and then to actually use the numbers to work out the problems. Um, we have several tools that we use. We use a lot of math manipulatives. We use the base 10 blocks. Uh, when we do fractions, we use a lot of fraction pieces, fraction bars. Um, we try really hard to make sure that um, they have lots of different things that they can work with with their hands and move around so that they really build that understanding as they work. Um, this is a departure from the way I've taught in the past because I have not used manipulatives as much. I have not really thought through, you know, the progression as far as concrete to pic pictures and then to so on to using just the numbers. So it kind of helps me to look at the big picture and build their concepts and their understanding as we move through each math unit. It um, also helps me with mental math to kind of build their mathematical thinking and the teamwork the kids we're working today in teams and they really get to talk about what they're learning in math and it really helps as they build their understanding to be able to explain it to the other students they really understand what they're doing more as they try to understand as they try to explain it um, we use the team approach because we are trying to get children to discuss their math we want them to learn other ways of solving problems, not just to think of math as a one way, we can only solve this problem one way and that's the only right way to do it. We try to encourage them to think of different ways to solve the problem so that they can be more inventive in their problem solving and they learn a lot from other students. So when another student is explaining, well, I did the problem this way, then they suddenly learn, hey, I could do it my way, I can do it that way, and I can still get the right answer. So the discussion really builds their understanding. The challenges I've experienced have been uh, sometimes building that teamwork. Sometimes students really don't know how to work as a team, so we really have to work on building that teamwork, on understanding how to work as a team, how to help but not do the problem for someone else. So they, they really work on helping and encouraging their teammates. I think another challenge sometimes is the pace that we have to move. We're trying to move quickly so that we get everything done. And sometimes it's hard for me to slow down and do the manipulatives and things when I really want to rush into things and get it done. So that's a challenge for me is slowing down, really building their mathematical understanding before I move on to other things. Our success um, has been really great these past few years. We've done well on standards of learning tests. Um, these tests are getting harder, so we are trying very hard to continue to build their problem solving. But we've worked very hard with Mariah to um, build the teamwork approach, to build their problem solving skills, and to really work on um, understanding the math concepts from the ground up, so to speak, and to really uh, make sure that these students are working hard and achieving and passing the SOL test. All right. I think the Longwood Master's Program has really helped um, Mariah as she's been our coach in our building to really help her understand how to help us. Uh, it really helps that we have her there as we're planning, as we're working, and we have her expertise in coaching. It really helps to build us as better teachers and, and helps us to do a better job with our instruction. Students really like the smart board. They love to come up to the smart board. They love to move things around. It's a great visual. It's So many students are so used to video games and TV. It's center stage. They 
really pay attention to it. They like to see graphics on it. They like to see the base 10 blocks. They were able today in our lesson to actually see the base 10 blocks on the board and then actually use those in the hands-on lesson. So it really works well to kind of keep them engaged in the lesson and to make sure that they are um, engaged in learning and really paying attention.